Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm David Knight. It's Monday, January 27th, 2014. And tomorrow is the big night that Obama is going to give us his State of the Union. Or maybe we should say it's the state of his regime because they've put out press releases that are being echoed throughout the mainstream media about how he's going to assert his unilateral agenda. See, that's semantics for dictating what he's going to do. And of course, he's filing executive orders, he's usurping powers that are not given to him in the Constitution, and then he's locking up critics of his regime, he's befriending and supplying al-Qaeda terrorists, and tomorrow night he's going to talk about how he's going to use his new powers that he's assumed to bypass immigration law. Now, look at how the mainstream media is picking this up everywhere. The new term, this is no longer dictator, this is now assert unilateral agenda. You'll see this everywhere. This is how they operate. They come up with these terms, these semantic terms that give them the high ground in an argument. If he were to say that he's just going to be giving executive orders, that sounds a little bit too authoritarian. But if he says he's going to assert a unilateral agenda, it's like, mm, oh, this kind of sounds... Interesting, and a lot of people are picking it up just like they picked up gravitas. Remember how that term was picked up out of obscurity and started echoing throughout the media many years ago to really kind of a comical term? Well, now you see that with this new phrase. And how is that going to look? Well, we see that just as his friends on the left are calling for him to be more of a dictator, to assert his unilateral agenda, we now see that the CFR, the Council on Foreign Relations, is calling on him to assert his friendship of al-Qaeda to openly proclaim it, to embrace them. They've been supplying them, training them, and allying with them for quite some time. And of course, as Ted Cruz and Dennis Kucinich have pointed out, we were going to be acting as al-Qaeda's air force in Syria. And, but the Council on Foreign Relations is pointing out they want him to do more. In an article entitled, The Good and Bad of R.R. al-Sham, yes, yeah, a sham, all right, an al-Qaeda-linked group worth befriending, the authors even admit that the leader, quote, published a statement praising bin Laden and al-Qaeda's current chief, al-Zawahiri. And they said it underscored the fact that al-Qaeda and Arar al-Sham are joined at the hip. Well, of course, even though they're joined at the hip, though, we should be supporting them. And we should do it, and this is what's changed, we should do it openly, Openly. They've been doing it covertly for quite some time, as we've pointed out for a very long time at InfoWars. Now they're going to come out and do it openly, just as they're now openly persecuting political enemies. We see that Dinesh D'Souza has become a target of the Obama administration. And the guy who produced his documentary on Obama said, I never feared my government until now. Now, this is the same guy who produced Schindler's List. And he says, I've never had the occasion to think that I had to fear my government. I never had the thought that I had a reason to look over my shoulder until now. Because why? Because Obama has been attacking the Tea Party with the IRS and with the FBI. Now he's attacking filmmakers, he's attacking political opponents, finding minor violations with his opponents while they let things like Fast and Furious and Benghazi go unaddressed. There's no criminal actions here. Now during the Nixon administration, if you'll remember, the IRS commissioner did not execute the enemies list that Nixon gave him. He set it in the safe and then he gave it to investigators later on. But on Obama's watch, exactly the opposite happens. They audit all of these Tea Party organizations and then the FBI works with them on the audits and nobody gets investigated, no one goes to jail. Now, the other thing that he's going to hit when he asserts his unilateral agenda tomorrow night, the key thing that he's going to hit on is going to be immigration. And Senator Sessions pushed back on that today. He said, immigration spikes are generating income inequality. And he points out, he says, today the U.S. admits one million immigrants a year. The plan supported by the president and Senate Democrats would increase that to three million a year or 30 million unskilled immigrants over the next 10 years. Did anyone ask the American people if they wanted to triple immigration? No, of course they wouldn't, because he's pursuing a unilateral agenda. He's not going to ask the American people. He's not going to ask Congress if they want to go along with this, because he's pursuing a unilateral agenda. It's just everything in the Constitution is out. You have no checks and balances, and Congress has no say, because Obama's just going to execute his executive orders. Shit.
symbols are powerful and the globalists have hijacked the symbols of America. They've turned them into their own symbols. Well, we are restoring the idea of the true republic, not the counterfeit globalist empire by promoting the icon George Washington and others. That's why we're rolling out on a 100% made in America line of incredible pro-liberty apparel. We are repopularizing liberty. We are helping fellow Americans rediscover what made this country great. We are the spirit of 1776. We are 1776 worldwide. We are all brothers and sisters in arms in the animating contest of liberty in the long march towards humanity's ultimate destiny of freedom. Visit madein1776.com today and vote with your dollars to promote truly made in America high quality products and promote the ideals of liberty. See the rest of the nightly news at our sister YouTube channel, The Info Warrior, or become a member of PrisonPlanet.tv and help us take the message of freedom and liberty to the next level. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.